Russia has lost 500,080 soldiers in Ukraine during the 27-month-long full-scale war, General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on Friday. The number is in line with estimates of UK and France, which said in early May that Russia's losses were around half a million. Some 1,140 Russian soldiers were killed over the past day, according to General Staff. In a post on its official Facebook page, the General Staff also revealed Russia's losses in terms of military equipment. Thus, Russia lost 7,650 tanks, 14,786 armored combat vehicles, 12,929 artillery systems, 1,082 MLRs, 814 air defense systems, 356 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 10,414 UAVs, 2,209 cruise missiles, 27 ships and boats, one submarine, 17,608 motor vehicles and tankers, 2,104 special equipment since the start of the full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Spokesman for the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Andriy Kovalev, explained in February that the Russian losses consist of two main indicators, irrecoverable losses and combat sanitary losses. According to Ukrainian military official statement last month, 85% of Russian losses occurred in the eastern sector, affecting both personnel and equipment. In February, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that 180,000 Russian troops had been killed since the start of the war and also revealed that 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed during the same time. What is happening in the Russian army? Generals, army commanders are fired, arrested. The commander of the 20th Combined Arms Army of the Russian Arms Forces, Lieutenant General Sukrab Akhmedov, was removed from his post. The chairman of the We Are Together With Russia movement, Vladimir Rogov, announced in his Telegram channel. Military bloggers also provide similar information. So far, Sukrab Soltanovich has just been released but informed sources report that the situation is developing, Rogov wrote. He calls the information about Akhmedov's removal from office good news and the implementation of the words of the new Minister of Defense, Andriy Belusov, about the need to take care of our soldiers. Currently, the 20th Separate Motor Rifle Brigade is focused on offensive operations on the Lyman Front and was unable to achieve significant tactical success in this area during the offensive on the Kharkiv-Luhansk Front in the winter and spring of 2024. Official statements from the Kremlin and speculation by bloggers about arrests and changes in command indicate that more senior officers of the Russian Federation may be at risk of dismissal. The Kremlin is purposefully removing senior officials from the Russian Defense Ministry and has already extended this effort to dismiss high-ranking officers in charge of Russian combat operations in Ukraine. The Kremlin is likely to use the guise of corruption charges as an excuse to hide the real reasons for ousting special individuals from the Ministry of Defense who have fallen from favor as ISW has recently assessed Institute for the Study of War said. On the 23rd of May, the Investigative Committee of Russia announced that Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin, Deputy Chief of the General Staff and the Head of the Main Communications Directorate of the Russian Armed Forces, and Vladimir Vertelecki, Head of the Department of Public Procurement of the Russian Defense Ministry, had been arrested. Shamarin is accused of receiving a bribe of at least 36 million rubles or about 392,000 US dollars and two people involved in the case from the Russian telecommunications industry have agreed to testify against him. Vertelecki is accused of corruption and receiving a large bribe which resulted in a total loss of 70 million rubles or 763,000 US dollars. 
five senior Russian defense ministry officials and former military commanders were arrested on corruption charges following the arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov that occurred on the 24th of April. A Russian insider source previously claimed that six more defensive ministry officials are planning to resign after former Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu was removed from his post. Thank you.